So I'm back and today I'm gonna to answer a question by a lady who called in and she had a big confusion about diabetes. She was a diabetic type two and she watched some of my videos but she was still confused about the cause and effect relationship. She's on medication and I have a lot of videos on this topic but I'm gonna to try to make it really, really simple so uh, anyone could really grasp it, okay? Um, so today we're gonna to talk about how to solve diabetes overnight with just a simple understanding of, of several links, okay? You have the pancreas, okay? It's located right here. It makes a few hormones, it makes enzymes. And then the uh, hormone that we're gonna talk about is insulin. Insulin lowers the blood sugar, okay? So it produces this insulin hormone, goes into the cell, and then what happens, it, once it lowers the blood sugar, because insulin is triggered by glucose, or sugar, same thing, what happens is it sends a signal back turning the pancreas off. Everything's cool, everything works. But what happens if you keep consuming carbs or sugar and it becomes more and more, your body considers it toxic, okay? So as a way of protecting itself, it starts to resist the insulin, okay? Because there's just too much sugar going in, there's too much insulin, it's toxic. So that's called insulin resistance. So what happens is now we don't get the feedback loops back to the pancreas. There's no return communication. So the pancreas, to make this connect, starts producing more and more insulin to create the same effect. While this is happening, we have a lot of insulin and we have insulin resistance. We still have normal blood sugar, okay? So you check your blood and it's normal because we have this um, resistance that's buffering all this excess insulin. Because if you didn't have that, you would have a massive hypoglycemic reaction. You would have low blood sugar because insulin drives the sugar lower. So you have carbs, increased insulin, insulin resistance. Now, over a period of time, maybe, I don't know, five to 10 years, your, your pancreas gets tired. It becomes exhausted to the point where it, it's overwhelmed. So when it starts to burn out, we no longer have enough insulin. So now it's, the insulin's gonna go down. Well, if you keep eating the sugar, your blood sugars are gonna start going higher. That's pre-diabetes and then even higher diabetes, okay? So that's kind of the mechanism. And then we have medications. We have certain medications for diabetes that increase or stimulate the cells to make more insulin. Other medications that help the receptor for insulin, help to receive it metformin, for example. And then you have other diabetic medications that basically cause the sugar to be released through the urine. So it just dumps more sugar to help your body get rid of it that way. Um, it's interesting, this medication actually puts your body into ketosis. Interesting. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what medicine's trying to do. It's trying to treat things, but it's treating them laid on the chain of events. So what do we know? We know that the original problem is too much insulin. We know that carbs increase insulin. And we know the diabetic medication treats the later effects of this chain reaction. So it basically treats the symptoms of high insulin. But why the high carbs? Why are we consuming so many high carbs? Well, the dietitians are following the dietary guidelines by the USDA. And uh, they're recommending that 45 to 60% of all of our calories should be in the form of carbohydrates. That comes out to, on average, between 225 and 325 grams of carbohydrate. That is a massive, massive amount, okay? Then we have guys like this. Professor Tom Sanders, head of diabetes and nutrition science division in the School of Medicine at King's College in London. This is what he says. Diabetes increases risk of cardiovascular disease, but diabetes is not caused by eating sugar. I think what happened was he was sick the day they talked about insulin. It says right here, why sugar sweetened beverages contribute to obesity, where intakes are high, it's probably because it's providing extra calories, okay? He doesn't understand insulin. Refocusing dietary advice on sugar and away from fat modification and reduction is not helpful, okay? Well, what you need to know about this guy is that 
uh, he received 4.5 million pounds for research, okay, by the sugar industry, okay? And of course, dietitians are sponsored by the food manufacturing companies in their continuing educational uh, programs. Okay, so that's why the high carbs. So this is what you need to know if you are a diabetic. How to solve diabetes overnight is just to understand several simple links, okay? Excess carbs equal excess insulin, which equals insulin resistance, which then causes excess insulin until the point where the pancreas becomes burnt out. Now the insulin goes down and that causes diabetes, okay? So what do you do about it? Keto and IF, you guessed it right. I have a link down below. Check it out if you're new to my channel. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.